Hello, welcome to the Thursday, July 27th, 2017 edition of the Santanet Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Pratt wrote a diary describing a recent version of the Emotet malware. Now, uh, this malware, as so often, arrives as a Word document. What was really great about this particular diary was that we got quite a bit of feedback from our readers. Uh, Pratt, in particular, when he wrote up the diary, didn't have an actual copy of an email spreading this malicious document. And now we had a number of readers provide us uh, with emails. Essentially, these are all fake invoices, uh, bills. We got one reader who received them claiming to come from AT&T. Another one had a very similar email, but the sender claimed to be Virgin Media. When Apple released its latest patch set last week, I mentioned that one of the high profile bugs being addressed here is a vulnerability in the Broadcom wireless firmware. Well, it turns out that we now have the expected details for this particular vulnerability. Exodus Intelligence did publish a blog with a lot of details how this particular vulnerability works and how it can be exploited. Access Intelligence also claims that they have written already a worm that can be spread using this vulnerability from device to device. Now, the vulnerability is a classic buffer overflow in how Wi-Fi multimedia or wireless multimedia frames are being parsed. The software only allocates 44 bytes for this information, but the attacker may encode up to 255 bytes here. Very similar to a vulnerability in these drivers with the SSID, where also there was a assumed maximum length for the SSID, but the attacker essentially could send non-standard frames that exceeded this size. Exploitation is not trivial, but not terribly hard either. And again, the blog that was published does include a lot of details in how to write an exploit for this vulnerability. So if you haven't already done so, patch your mobile devices. This is most likely going to affect mobile devices like cell phones, but there may also be some laptops, tablets and the like that are affected. And yes, this issue will affect Android or iOS. So all of your mobile devices here are at risk. And Microsoft now expanded its bug bounty program to include Windows 10. As part of this program, researchers can earn up to $250,000 for finding a critical vulnerability in Windows. Lesser vulnerabilities are being rewarded uh, as little as $500. This is just the latest of a number of uh, bug bounties that Microsoft has announced. Now some prior Windows related bug bounties were more focused or limited to a beta software. Now if you're somewhat more serious about playing games like Portal or Half-Life, then you are probably familiar with the ability to set up custom maps for the game. Now, uh, these maps are created uh, using special software uh, typically and uh, then shared with other players of uh, the game. Sadly, these maps may trigger a vulnerability in these games leading to code execution. In order to exploit this vulnerability, an attacker would have to create a custom map that triggers the vulnerability and then ship it to the victim and trick the victim into installing this particular map. Now, the reason this typically works is that the victim may not be aware that maps like this can be used in order to execute code. So they are less careful in opening a custom map for a game than, for example, a Word document with macros. 
Well, and that's it for today. Still great talks going on here at Science Fire. If you're at Science Fire and are attending one of the talks that is presented by one of our Internet Storm Center handlers, uh, then you may want to participate in our Raspberry Pi Honeypot giveaway. And that is it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.